for myself and myself only. It is my personal belief that allowing gays and lesbians to serve openly would be the right thing to do. No matter how I look at this issue, I cannot escape being troubled by the fact that we have in place a policy which forces young men and women to lie about who they are in order to defend their fellow citizens. All righty, that is considered stunning testimony from the nation's top uniformed military officer. Last week, Joint Chiefs of Staff Admiral Michael Mullen added fuel to the debate over the president's effort to repeal the don't ask, don't tell policy for U.S. troops. President Obama and Admiral Mullen appear ready to repeal the law, but Congress and the Republicans may not. Joining me to talk about both sides of the debate, radio talk show host Rick Amato from 1170 KCBQ and Colonel Stuart Bornhoff, who retired in 1995. I want to say good morning to both of you gentlemen, first of all. Good morning, Marcel. All, right. all righty, Colonel Bornhoff, I start with you. Supporters of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell law argue that repealing it would hurt the military's ability to complete missions and perhaps... Uh, uh, putting Americans' lives at risk. What do you say to that? Well, first of all, the question is not whether gays should serve in the military. They've been doing that since the Revolutionary War. There are 66,000 of them serving in the military right now. So the question really is, do we do that with a policy of deception, essentially forced lying, or do we do that in consonance with the values that the military has. When Admiral Mullen made his statement, he also added that it, for him it came down to integrity. Do we rest on a value of integrity or do we have a law that has a foundation where it, it mandates duplicity, half-truths, effectively lies? And for him and for the institution and the values it holds, that's what he said is important. What do you say, sir? Personally, I feel the same way. I, I'm a West Point graduate. I spent 26 years in the Army. I taught at West Point. I was a general's aide there. My daughter was born there. I was imbued with and then subsequently shared the values of duty, honor, country with the cadets who were there. So simply put, you say it's okay if you are gay serving in our military. It's okay that you let everyone know what your uh, sexual persuasion is, what your lifestyle is, who you are period. You need to let people know who you are. You don't have to blatantly advertise it, but you don't need to hide it. Okay. It's the same balance heterosexuals have. Alrighty, uh, Rick Amato, uh, jump in for me. What's your position on this? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank the Colonel for his service to our country. There is no greater issue facing America today than a war on terror with radical Islam. Uh, and I, my hat's off to the Colonel. Uh, if we continued our fail to listen to Admiral Mullen's uh, commentary, he would say that, uh, in all honesty, he doesn't know what the impact would be to integrate gays okay, openly. Okay, so then, Rick, let me ask you what you think the impact would be. What are you, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that, that, that uh, I'm very uh, concerned that President Obama is playing politics with this issue. How so? In an election year. How so? In an election year when Democrats have lost New Jersey, Ted Kennedy's seat, Virginia, and Democrats are worried about their seats, there's no way uh, uh, close race Democrats are going are to uh, support this bill. They're not going to get Republican support. Well, They're wait, not gonna... Rick, you know, what does this have to do with politics? I'm asking you for your opinion, point blank. Tell me what you think about this. Hey, Ar Arthel, the bottom line is this is a very complex issue. Uh, I, I, I do not think that we should repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Uh, for, for the sake of politics, because this, I, I'm coming no, back to I, the I, 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 What do you think we should do? I, I, I think politics I, aside, people who are gay serving in our military, should they feel free to live who they are? We have a policy, we have the greatest military in the world. Why are we here to fix it? Okay, so you don't want to give me a straight answer. The, the, an, the answer is it's, it's a complex issue. And uh, right now we, we have a policy in place that allows gays to serve. Right. Let's take a look at a recent Washington Post poll that shows that public support for allowing gays to serve openly is growing. Should public opinion matter when it comes to the decision whether or not to repeal the law? Here it is. 75% say yes in 2010. And back in 2001, early 2001, it was 62%. And way back in the day, 44%. So uh, Colonel Bornhoff looks like people are saying, listen, we have, uh, not to put it so simply, but we have bigger fish to fry. We need people, as, as people would say, again, boots on the ground. And people who happen to be gay, they're no different than anybody else. It does not affect uh, uh, the job that they can do in the military. That, that's absolutely right. And what, what we're seeing is an overcoming of the fear of the unknown. 
when you take surveys of soldiers who are serving in combat and ask them do they strongly favor or strongly oppose open service, honest service, those who are aware that they have gays in their unit are six times more likely to say we favor open service than those who don't know. Basically those who don't know are suffering from the fear of the unknown and what these polls and the trends they're demonstrating is that as we become acquainted with gay and lesbians and bisexuals that we find that they're normal people. All right, just um, like us. Rick, uh, let me ask you, so what would happen hypothetically speaking, if you were serving next to someone uh, in a bunk next to you and they said, hey, I just want to let you know I'm gay, what happens? Uh, Arthel, let, let me say, you're, you're asking good questions, but we don't know the answers. No, you and know an answer. You have an opinion. I'm asking for your opinion. All right. Look, it, I don't have a problem personally with someone being gay. I, what someone does in a privacy of their own bedroom and who they do it with, it's none of my business, and I don't care. But we're talking about the military here. We're talking about national security, and we're talking about politics. And I know and 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 nat it. national security is at stake here if people are gay in the military. Oh, my. You're oversimplifying, Arthel. Yeah, okay, Rick. Thank you very much. You should maybe uh, express your opinion clearly. Rick Amato, uh, let's see. You're from 1170 KCBQ. Yes. And Colonel Bornhoff, thank you very much. Thank you. Alrighty. The war of words is heating up, uh, an official Facebook page that is. If you want to see what people are saying about both sides of this debate, we have our link set up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Click on the scene on Fox tab.